All right, hi, thank you. This is Humbled Woman Ministries. This is my final video regarding Anita Fuentes. I have done three other ones. Uh, the first one I did is called uh, Anita Fuentes Exposed Online Ministry or Church, where we discussed uh, does she have an online ministry or does she have a church or does she have both? And what are the responsibilities therein uh, for either of those entities? We had Anita Fuentes Exposed Ministerial Integrity, discussing. Um, you know, the type of integrity that a ministry should have uh, and the accountability to uh, its donors. Uh, and then we talked about Anita Fuentes Exposed Fraud or Faithful, uh, where we uh, discussed uh, steps that I think Anita could take in order to bring credibility to her ministry. Um, and so now I'm just going to go into really quickly a video called Anita Fuentes Exposed God's Protection. So. Uh, you have to apologize. I, I am not a speaker. I am not good with words. I do my best. And um, I really am just trying to get out my thoughts and opinions here, so I really hope you can bear with me. Um, so, besides all of the um, monetary, you know, stuff going on with the asking for money and the videos and, and that, um, I'll just say, I do agree with some people, the videos did seem like they were kind of condemning, like they were made, made to make you feel guilty, like you should be giving, and if you're not, you're bad. Um, I don't recall her specifically saying that you'll go to hell if you don't give to, give to her, but certainly uh, someone could pick up that tone and, and feel like maybe that's what she's saying. Um, so aside from all of that, you know, when people start coming out, uh, showing the house that she lived in and talking about the the somewhat extravagant, well, very extravagant lifestyle that she seems to be leading. Um, you know, she had some live broadcasts where I would say at least an hour and a half of the broadcast was dedicated to calling these people out. She called out people by name and some of them. Um, she held up uh, weapons. Uh, you know, it, it, it really, <laughs> I, I was shocked. Um, I certainly understand how upsetting it could be someone's putting your physical location out on YouTube. I mean, I get that. I wouldn't like it either. I think you have a right to protect your home if someone's threatening you and your family and you have a gun and they try to come in, then, you know, by all means, do what you have to do. You know, but to go on for hours, hour and a half in one video, simply, you know, dedicated to um, responding to these people was just very upsetting to me because, you know, we need to lean on the God's protection, okay? And if you're doing nothing wrong and you have nothing to hide and you know that you're right with God, then God is going to protect you and your family. And 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 you don't have to go on and on and on about, uh, you know, what you're going to do and, and who these people are and how they're going to hell. And I even heard, you know, your husband... Um, make some comments about people's appearances and, you know, their lifestyle and stuff like that. And it, it, it just wasn't right. And, you know, you really have to, it, I understand being angry, but you really have to, not only out of good taste, out of class, out of, you know, just good uh, moral reasons, but for godly people to say these type of things was very upsetting to me. And, um, you know, God has given us promises. And um, one of the things he promises for us is, is his protection. And, and again, God can't protect you from a situation if you're inviting evil in. If you are being dishonest, if you are misleading people, if you are doing things that aren't right, then you're essentially taking that protection of God off of you. And God can no longer bless your ministry, bless you, or protect you. But what, this is what the Bible does say in Psalms 17.7. It says, Show your marvelous loving kindness, O you that save by your right hand, them which put their trust in you from those that rise up against them. So it says, God saves you by his right hand, those that put their trust in him from those that rise up against him. So you shouldn't have to worry about people rising up against you. God will protect you. Psalms 138.7 says, Though I walk in the middle of trouble, you will revive me. You will stretch forth your hand against the wrath of my enemies, and your right hand shall save me. Proverbs 16.7 says, When a man's ways 
This is important. When a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies be at peace with him. So why are your enemies not at peace with you, Anita? Are all your ways pleasing to the Lord? Something to think about. Um, Isaiah 59, 19 says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Matthew 53, I'm sorry, Matthew 5, 43 and 44 says, You have, and this is Jesus speaking, he says, You have heard that it has been said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies, bless those that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which spitefully use you and persecute you. And finally, 1 Peter 3, 9 says, Not rendering evil for evil, or railing for railing, but contrary wise blessing, knowing that you are thereunto called, that you should inherit a blessing. So responding to the railings of people against you with more railings is wrong. Uh, rendering evil for evil is wrong. Um, and you have said in a manner which I don't personally fully believe that you've prayed for your enemies, but you really should. You really should. And, you know, the thing about it is, is, is humility goes a long way. Um, I think a lot of people <clears throat> begin having a problem with you when you elevate yourself to a level above them. And I'm not saying that anything that some of these people did was right. I'm not saying that at all. But, but um, you know, if you had had a video that came out and said, um, guys, I went about this the wrong way. Uh, I was prideful. Uh, and, you know, here's the deal. In all humility, you know, I, I'm a minister of God. Uh, this is my vision for my ministry. This is something that's very important to me. Um, in these last days, I want to move the gospel forward. Here's how I intend to do it, and here's the money that I need. The response would have been completely different. Um, but but the, the pridefulness and the stubbornness and the, you know, excuse me, but the, you know, F you type of attitude that you're kind of giving off uh, just really turned me off. And, you know, again, I, there's nothing wrong with asking for donations. There's nothing wrong with uh, needing money to fuel a legitimate ministry. <coughs> but I think <clears throat> that uh, you have to be very, very careful uh, in, in how you come across. Um, and, and I would really like to believe that um, the people just misunderstood, uh, you know, where you're going with this. Um, and, and I would hope that, that your intention was not to collect donations and then use them for your own gain. I would really hope that that's not the case. But um, anyway, I'll just end with this. You know, if you walk with the Lord, you're protected. If you don't allow evil through your front door, you're protected. Um, if you're not doing anything wrong, uh, then you're protected. And so, you know, the, the endless videos condemning people to hell and uh, and just going on and on about what you're going to do to them if they come to your house, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it was just too much. It was just too much. Um, you could have very simply stated, we have received some threats. Uh, I just want to let you know that uh, we will not tolerate those kinds of threats from our ministry. Uh, and um, you could have left it at that. But the, the amount of time dedicated to going off on these people was, <laughs> it was, it was really too much way too much over the top. You have to like restrain yourself a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise it, it's just, uh, um, I'll, I'll be honest. I walked away thinking, um, this is very classless. This is, um, base. This is, uh, juvenile. This doesn't show any restraint, and I was really disgusted, and that's how I really felt about it. And I know a lot of people have felt the same way. Anita, we're praying for your ministry. Uh, I really would like to see your ministry prosper. Uh, I really would like to also see, um, you know, a little bit of humility. Uh, while you are doing the work of God, you're still human, just like any of us, and prone to making mistakes, and 
And, um, you know, God bless you. Uh, and um, I'm just going to end my uh, video series on Anita Fuentes there. Uh, for those of you who have watched my videos, I really appreciate it. I just needed to get this off my chest. It's been bothering me. Uh, we have so few people out doing the work in the harvest. Uh, and when something like this comes up, it's just so disconcerting. And, and it's I just really see the enemy at work. And I hate to see brothers and sisters fall when there's so much work to be done. And, uh, you know, don't let the worldly things um, get in your way of doing the Lord's work. And, you know, I, I believe that Jesus is coming back. Uh, I don't understand why, if he's coming back so quickly, why he needs to uh, visit you in your mansion. <laughs> so, anyway... I wish you all the best. Thanks again for tuning in to Humble Woman Ministries. I'm probably going to try to do a couple more videos regarding my um, testimony uh, because I think that oftentimes testimonies uh, are very helpful for other people to like hear and see God's work in other people's lives. And uh, I may do videos here and there as uh, my interests arise. Uh, I have a tendency to be interested in things like the Book of Enoch and, and uh, the prophecies of the return of Christ. And uh, there's some interesting things that I've come across that I might like to share. I think a lot of the topics have been pretty well covered by other people on YouTube. But, uh, you know, every once in a while I might pop in and, and do a video like that. So please um, check back. And thank you so much for tuning in. And bless you all so very much. Thank you.